Hey guys, it's Sierra and welcome back to my channel! <laughs> Ooh, child, you got some some clay mask on your shirt. It's okay, we're just gonna move on past that. I know y'all thought y'all weren't gonna hear that intro again. I know y'all thought y'all weren't gonna hear it again. You know what, Sierra is back. She's tired of hearing what people have to say about what she should do on her own channel. Mind your business and let me do what I wanna do over here on this here channel called, <laughs> what? The Sierra Reed, which is me, by the way. Thank you so much. So now that I got that out of the way, we're gonna be breaking down the Hemp Clay Mask by Clay Hydrate. If you wanna know how I feel about this mask and my opinions about this here bad girl right here, just keep on watching. But before you continue to watch, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to see you guys back. As always, say it with me. Cue the transition. Okay guys, let's get this party started. Before we jump all the way into this video, I wanna thank you so much to Clay Hydrate for gifting me this product. I'm letting you guys know right now, this is not a first impressions. I have been trying this product out and I've also had my husband try this product out as well because we have two different skin types. My skin is very dry where his skin is very oily and I kinda of wanted to see how it worked on different skin types as well. Let's jump into how we normally do skincare videos. We're gonna break down the packaging. We're gonna go over the ingredients. We're gonna go over how to apply the product and my final thoughts on how I feel overall about this product. So when it came to me, it came in this box, which is now haggard. Don't come for me in the comments. So the box is now haggard because your girl has children who decided to play with the box. The, we don't even need the box anymore. Let the box go. This is the component right here. Focus! This seems to be a glass jar with a plastic top and just a simple like sticker label that goes around the entire component. This component has 4.23 ounces of product, which I think is a good amount of product. It also comes with a brush and when I first got this brush, I was like, mm, this just feels like, you know, a basic brush. I was kind of nervous about this brush because I was wondering if the bristles were gonna actually like poke me as I was applying the product to my face. And I am here to let you know that this brush is actually a very good brush. You don't feel any poking or anything like that. It's also pretty easy to get the mask out of this brush as well. As you can see, I have used it multiple times and this brush looks very, very clean, which was also a concern of mine because you know when we're talking about clay masks, it can be a hassle to take off of your face, to get it off of anything. It is <sighs> holding on, okay? This brush does come with the purchase of the product as well. So. The product and the brush, if you're getting the single pack, is $36.99 US. This brand is based and owned in Australia, so just keep that in mind when you're going to purchase this product because if you are in the States, just know that it's gonna take about 10-ish days to get to you. This mask has also been featured in Glamour Magazine, in Vogue, in Harper's Bazaar, Elite Daily, so this is definitely a product that is on its way up. It's starting to boom and I'm really excited that I got my hands on it pretty early. Also, by the way, side note, Australia is one of my favorite places in the entire world and I can't wait to go back to Australia. Sydney is legit one of my favorite places to visit. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, we have so much fun when we go to Sydney. It is their seafood and their vegetables and their fruit taste so much different than ours in America. It's got me kind of like, what do we have in our food that they don't have in theirs? I'm just questioning some things because it tastes totally different. Like if I eat strawberries out here and I eat strawberries in Australia, for some reason those strawberries in Australia are popping. America's got something going on. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back into the review. All right, so this product is natural, vegan, and cruelty-free. We're going to break down the ingredients right now. Boom, right here. Bing! 
So the first ingredient is water. I don't think we need to go into details about what water is and why it's beneficial for you in your life. Drink more H2O. The next ingredient is kaolin clay. And if you don't know a lot about kaolin clay, I am here to help you. What I like about killing clay is that it is really good at reducing the oils in your skin. So for instance, I don't have very oily skin. My skin is pretty dry, but my husband on the other hand has pretty oily skin, which, you know, sometimes I kind of get mad because I kind of just want that extra glow that he just happens to have naturally because he just has more oily skin. But, you know, I know for him, he's always like, I just want my skin to just look healthy and over time throughout the day, it will go from looking healthy to looking sometimes a little bit too healthy. You know what I'm talking about for the people who have oily skin. You know what I'm saying? Where you're like, whoop, I might need to blot a little bit. So it was really interesting to see him use this product and see how he felt about it. It's good for soothing sensitive skin and easily irritable skin. It's also good for anybody who has acne as well because it's really good at detoxifying your pores and removing dirt and, and the grime and everything out of your skin. And it's really good for reducing the signs of aging. If you use this continuously, it does tighten up your skin. So the fine lines and wrinkles that you have on your face over time should be less noticeable. And you know what, I'm not gonna go really deep into every single ingredient because I think I might be here all day and I really like to talk about ingredients, but we're not gonna do that in this video, okay? We're just gonna talk about the top three. The third one that I wanna speak about is hemp seed oil. And what I like about hemp seed oil is that this also reduces irritation, it reduces inflammation, and it hydrates and regulates the oil production in your skin. And hemp seed oil can be used for all skin types. So those are the main ingredients in this product. But then as we go deeper in, we see that there's aloe leaf, there's jojoba seed oil, there's hyaluronic acid, which we love, there's vitamin C, there's vitamin E, there's willow bark extract, which is great, pomegranate seed extract. So this product does have a lot of good ingredients in it. Whew. Got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and apply this product. So how it says to apply this product is to obviously use this brush. And what you're going to do is apply it how you would normally apply a mask all over your face. And you're gonna leave this mask on for about 10 minutes. It doesn't have like a funky smell to it. Some of these masks, I really like the way it feels on my skin. I love the way my skin looks, but I can't stand the smell. This does have a scent to it, but it's very light. What I know a lot of people compare clay mask to is the Aztec clay mask. If you compare it to that one, this one is a lot more hydrating because it does have the jojoba seed oil in there and it does have the hemp seed oil. Your face is gonna get tight. You know the tight face I'm talking about when you wear clay mask, but it's not gonna get tight to the point of it being uncomfortable. It's also not hard to take off, which I was kind of worried about because you know, anytime you're using masks like this, it can be a real pain to take off. And I think that because this formula, it has a lot more hydration, it's just not hard to take off of your skin. I'm not gonna say it's the easiest mask to take off your skin, but it's definitely not the hardest mask to take off either, especially when it comes to clay masks for sure. Oh, by the way guys, totally forgot to tell you guys that I do have a discount code for this product and if you would like to use it it is going to be linked right across the screen somewhere there you go so that you can get 10 percent off so i'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes go through some emails and then i'll be back with my final thought and wrap up this video brb Okay guys, I am back. I have taken the mask off. I put on some brows, you know, the usual brows, mascara, a little bit of lip gloss, cause you know, that's my use. Okay, but my skin has absolutely nothing on it. I don't have any serums, no nothing. This is just how it looks right after I've used the product. So I'll zoom you in so you can see my skin. You guys remember this moment, right? <laughs> when I said I'm gonna be mad at myself for picking at my face. Um, yeah. But the good thing about this mask that I also didn't mention is that over time using this mask, it does say that it does fade away acne spots. So I don't have a lot going on, but I do have this and it says that it should fade those marks. So bing for that. And you can see over here as well, I don't have a lot of mess going on, but I had been using the skincare product for a little while and now I have to get my skin back on track because it was trying to play your girl, okay? 
Okay, my skin feels very clean. It doesn't have that dry, dry feeling that I would get if I was using the Aztec clay. It does feel a little bit more hydrated than that. But I will say for me, the reasons why I like this product, if I were to compare it to the Aztec clay mask, which I absolutely love, and it's one of my favorite masks in the entire world, I feel like this mask is just a little bit easier to use. I mean, with the Aztec clay mask, you've got to get the powder, you've got to add the apple cider vinegar, you got to mix it together, go ahead and, you know, whip it up in the kitchen. And for your girl who has Irish twins, I don't really have that type of time, okay? Where this is giving me the same type of feels with more hydration which you know that i need but with less steps and what i also like about this product is when i saw my husband use it on a consistent basis what i saw in his skin was that it looked hydrated and fresh and it didn't look overly oily at the end of the day so i do think that with time this does regulate the oils in your skin if that is a concern of yours for me i do like the fact that it does have more hydration like i already know just from my skin if you're dry like me like the way my skin feels right now i'm itching to grab a moisturizer but it's nowhere near the amount of dryness that i would feel when i would use other clay masks if that makes sense and if that helps you at all i still i still need a moisturizer asap but I'm not about to spaz out about it. So that's my final wrap up guys. To be honest, I really like this product. It's not because it was sent to me. You guys already know that because if this was trash, I would have chucked it. And if you guys don't know that I chuck products behind me when they are trash, you guys have not been watching my videos. So the fact that it didn't get chucked and the fact that I did use this product consistently and had somebody else use it as well to just make sure for sure for sure that it was good and it still passed, that says a lot because you know your girl does not play when it comes to her skincare she doesn't play i don't i don't i don't okay so i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs> peace peace out guys <laughs>